Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're out here on New Year's Day out here on Lake Huron. We're going to do a bit of an ice flight with the Spark. As you can see, quite a bit of ice built up on the lake. It's about 9 degrees out here. So uh, we're going to try the Spark out and see if we got telemetry on it this time. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, my fingers warm up. I'm going to go ahead, take it up. I'm going to let it, uh, so I believe I have video running. I'm going to take it up a little bit. It's a little bit windy out here today. And, and we're going to just kind of, yeah, for some reason it is complaining about compass error exited GPS mode. So I wonder what that's all about. So I'm back into GPS mode. Ready to go GPS mode, but I'm not showing any satellites available. I don't know what the heck's happening here. It seems to be sitting in there. But you can definitely see a little bit of drift with the wind. And... Uh, Let me see here. Flight error records, latest firmware, compass error, GPS mode is canceled. So I'm not sure why, why we're overall acting up again. We got the latest firmware, but I'm still showing no satellites. So I can't quite figure that one out. It seems to be, though, in, in, in GPS mode, even though it's showing satellites not available. I'm also not getting, still not getting any telemetry data uh, from the copter. This is a similar problem I had when I flew it a while ago. Um, there is a bit of wind out here, but still not too bad. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this guy. A little bit nervous taking it out there with these, these errors. So let's just kind of it's definitely acting up. Let's try bringing it back this way. I'm getting a lot of compass error. I'm not sure exactly why. It's also varying in altitude quite a bit. And again, I'm still not getting any type of uh, telemetry on the uh, on the app, as you guys can see. So I'm really not sure what's going on with this guy. Uh, but I'm definitely getting video. I've got I'm OTG connected. I think what I might do is try another flight via Wi-Fi and see if that changes it. Again, I've heard from several folks that there's issues with um, OTG after some of the firmware updates. I'm, I'm kind of afraid that DJI probably dumbed this thing down a little bit, which would be sad. And uh, I'm just kind of flying it up the beach. It seems to be responding correctly now. And we'll bring it down sideways to see how it does. Yeah, I think I might have to go collect up my landing pad. I'm bringing it back a little bit towards me this way. Just kind of getting some lateral views of the the water as I go sideways. I'm just kind of sticking it sideways. Still seems to be holding GPS mode. And I'm kind of bringing it back in towards me. The wind's definitely kicking up.
Wow, there's a big gust came out of nowhere. It's gonna kind of hold it tight, kind of film down that way a little bit. Yeah, it's cold weather, man. I tell you, I don't know if it's the best droning weather. Um, I've had better luck with, with the Typhoon H out here in this cold weather, uh, especially when we're starting to get down. I really don't like to fly too much or get too risky uh, past about 25 degrees. And again, I'm just kind of bouncing around a little bit up there. And, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if you guys can see it on the hat cam or if it's just a little dot. But it's definitely struggling to maintain, maintain its altitude. I don't know if it's coming out in the videos. Like I say, it is a little bit windy. You can see as the wind kind of kicks up that it, it, it provides a bit of extra lift. And... Yeah, I'm just kind of... I'm still really perplexed about the telemetry issue. So a high, a high wind velocity fly with caution, so it is definitely giving me an error. Yeah, I still don't have any satellites. So really, outside of outside of the video, I'm not getting any telemetry back from the copter, and I think that's part of the problem, or something odd that's going on. I'm going to have to do some more experimentation with it. And uh, again, so the high wind warning's off, so I'm going to kind of take it back down this way a little bit. For some reason, it's it seems to hit some sort of geofence or something because it kind of goes. So I go this way. And if I run this way, and now it's now it's going. It kind of stopped before, which was kind of odd. And so, kind of flying it out that way. Where it's the lighthouse and we'll fly it back this way. Hopefully missing the tree. Getting a little too close to that tree for my comfort. And we're just kind of flying it back up. I'm going to try getting out here later in the week with the Solo and uh, try getting some stuff. I think the Solo is probably better suited and that's what I actually bought the Solo for was for, for ice flights. So I'm gonna spin this back around and I think I'm gonna bring this guy back in. I still got some pretty good battery. Whoa, did you see that? I don't know if you saw that. It's like it hit a geofence or something. It just kind of, whoa, stopped up. I don't know if there was an error. I wasn't looking at the screen. I was keeping a line of sight on the copter. I'll have to go back and look at, see what the heck happened. But I'm standing back over here under some shelter and so we're just kind of getting some views of the lake here really really freaking cold day uh, this morning was zero degrees out here zero degrees Fahrenheit it's warmed up to about nine right now just kind of um, you know even well the winds died down now but it's sort of like a just a beautiful calmness with the cold and everything else so uh, Figured I'd get out here New Year's Day. What a better way to start the new year than, than flying the Spark. So uh, I'm going to try some flights with the Mavic here in a little bit too. But the wind's now kicking back up. So let's see how this does. See if I get a wind warning or if it drops out of anything. So you can see it de definitely lift as the gust comes by. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it back towards me a little bit because I'm going to bring it down here in a second. All right. I'm going to bring it down a little bit, yaw it back around. And I'm going 
gonna try bring it back towards this pad. You can see how it's really leaning. Although the resiliency to the cold of the battery seems to be pretty good. And uh, let's And let's see if we can pop it down. All right, so we, we made it onto the pad. I'm going to save off the video. So another interesting flight. I'm still having issues. I've done the firmware upgrade. Uh, I know a lot of folks were asking, did I do the firmware upgrade? I actually ended up doing it twice just to be sure. Um, and I, I still have the problem with the telemetry. So I guess I'm going to have to try one. Uh, on Wi-Fi and see if that's working. You know, I really hate to go to Wi-Fi. I'm going to be very disappointed if that's the case. But hey, anyways, let me know what you had for lunch. To me, it was a bologna sandwich this afternoon. Give it a big thumbs up. Cold day out here on Lake Huron. Just uh, wanted to start the new year outright with a flight, and we did. See you guys in the next video. Cheers.